close did you think you were to signing any type of contract with an NBA team? Um, you know, even if you look back in the, in the fall. In the fall, um, I figured. I mean, my game has always been translate to NBA game pretty well. So I mean, I didn't think I was too far off. I just need to develop more in a few areas, and um, <clears throat> and I'm just develop more, just keep working. So I mean, I already knew you know teams be interested. I'm six seven. I can just versatile. I can switch on the people, shoot the three. I mean, that's a pretty good game for NBA players. So, I mean. I knew I was there, I just needed to make a couple more steps, you know, and I'm still developing now, I'm still got to work on some few stuff, but I mean, I knew it was there, so. You said y'all had to decide on whether, you know, you were going to take it or not. What was the deciding factor, and what was the biggest thing that was, you know, making you guys hold off a little bit? I mean, I mean, that's a question I'm sorry. Like, you said you guys, you know, you knew that they were going to offer you a two-way, right. but you guys had to decide if you wanted to take it. Yeah, I mean, it's some things with two-way, you know, some it limits you to other teams, you know, and stuff. So, I mean, we had to, you know, definitely discuss it. So, you know, I figured it was the best thing for me, you know, for me, it's just to keep developing with the Sixers and hopefully, you know, get up with them, you know, in the future. So, I mean, yeah. So that, that um, you had a night where Elton saw you against West Virginia yeah. last year. Yeah. Um, did it feel like a big night for you? I mean, you were going against a pretty big program. Yeah. Um, how did you feel after that that game? And then to know that that has sort of started the ball rolling to where you are right now. Yeah, I mean, when you compete against a team like West Virginia, you always want to play your best. That's one of the best teams in the nation each and every year. They got a good defense, good coaches, but no. Um, that game was a definitely a game that really stood out. You know, I tried to play my hardest and I showed my abilities against, you know, the big guys, the Division One guys when I went to a Division Two school. I mean, we didn't win the game, of course, but I still played my hardest and I showed that I can play against, you know, that type of competition, you know. So it shows my my talents, you know, my abilities against, you know, bigger, stronger guys that I've been playing against Division Two. So. Brett alluded to, to your story in his pregame uh, media session mm-hmm. coming from a Division Two school. Just how much did you have to work to get to this point? How, what was the struggle? How, how hard it was to get here? I mean, yeah, it's definitely a lot of hard work behind the scenes. Um, I've you know, been in the gym constantly, been in the weight room constantly. You know, everything I do is sending the brown basketball. So, you know, I really don't do enough and all except for it, basketball. So, I mean, it's a lot of hard work, definitely. You know, Division two schools work hard as well. So, I mean, I've always been, I've always been a guy that work hard no matter where I'm at, what I'm doing, so. How does working with the Bluecoats and being here with the 76ers all the familiarity? Oh yeah, they, we run the same type of offenses, um, same type of concepts on defense, you know. So I'm fully familiar with the plays and the um, offensive scheme and defensive scheme. So they use the same ter- type of terminology too. So I feel familiar. So they did a good job, you know, mixing, you know, making sure the blue coach, you know, are translate to the same system. So it's not, you know, a big adjustment now here with the Sixers. What's the reception been like from your teammates once the two-way was signed? From the blue coach or the Sixers? Both. Both. I mean, everybody's definitely excited for me, you know. Um, I'm a guy who's not going to announce it. I'm just one guy who's going to walk around like nothing's happening. But, you know, everybody, I still got walking around, everybody like, yo, good job, we're proud of you, bro, you know. Yeah. So that very, you know, my brothers are just fun and, you know, excited around me. You know, in the Sixers, everybody, since I walked in, say, you know, congrats, you know, and they're just happy for me, happy to have me. So it's definitely a good reception. How did it feel to see your teammates come in and announce that they're going to be playing for you? Because it's something that's unheard of for a player to come in and announce that they're going to be playing for you. I mean, it's definitely, you know, um, a dream. Um, definitely, I just played a game for 33 minutes, and now I'm here. You know, the Sixers. So I mean, I mean, I was just in this arena, 11 a.m. in the morning, playing a game. So now that I'm here, it's just like I don't even know what's going on, and I'm just trying to, you know, soak it all in right now. How's your wind up Division Two? Do you have any Division One offers? <clears throat> um, I had a few Division One schools look at me, but they wanted me to go to prep school first, uh-huh. and then once I start like killing Division Two, they wanted me to transfer, and I just stuck with Division Two. So. Any any particular Division One schools offer you? Not, not, no, no particular thing. I had some, I'll tell you some do ones that were like interesting, like yeah. LIU or like, um, VCU or something like that. Mm-hmm. Virginia, no, no, Richmond. There you go, Richmond. Okay. Yeah. So, was there a moment in training camp where you thought, you know, I can do this, I can, I can compete at this level? Um, or was it before that, or has it come over time? Like, what's the moment where you said, you know what, I, I can, I can play at this level? I mean, I felt like I've always felt like I've had NBA talent. I just need to translate to the court. I mean, definitely, you know, working with the Blue Coats, um, the practices and stuff. I feel, you know, I've been going against, you know, some good guys with the Blue Coats. They got some talented guys. And I've always been a competitor in practice. So, I mean, in practice, I really just try to show, you know, what I can do. And it's been an adjustment, but I've made some good strides. So, I figured, you know, if I can, you know, keep improving as a player with the Blue Coats, I can 
keep a permissible player with the Sixers as well. So. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Thank you. Thank you.